it is the scientific solution uh, 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 to abortion on which America agrees. While we've got full protection in states like Alabama. I know that in Alabama there is full protection and so I'm going to call an Alabama abortion clinic and um, see if I'm about 18 weeks, which is well after a heartbeat, if I can still get an abortion in Alabama. Um, I'm going to call Alabama Women's Center and on their site it says that we provide the safest possible abortion care to women in comfortable and confidential outpatient setting. Medical non-surgical abortions are offered to patients up to nine weeks of pregnancy. Surgical abortions are offered to patients from five to 21 weeks gestational age by the last menstrual period. Okay, so it looks like they give abortions all the way up to 21 weeks. So um, let's just call and see if the heartbeat bill is in effect and you can get an abortion in Alabama. wondering um, what I need to do to make an appointment and if um, if I'm if I can still have an abortion okay how far along do you think you are my last period was around December the 10th okay hang on a second here let me calculate that out for you Okay, um, I had heard like on the news or something that there was like a, you couldn't do it after a heartbeat. Well, yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's it, as in many states, they're like past needs, just out and out, right bands, but we have a, a federal injunction right now, so it's got to work its way through the courts. That's okay. going to be years before they say yay or nay to that one, but you, but you, are, you are correct. Okay. But um, yeah, we have a federal injunction against that now, so. Okay. We are, we are still operating the that go up to 21 weeks, six days. The way it works in the state of Alabama, it requires two appointments because they do have a, a 48 hour waiting period law that's in effect. So what that essentially means is you'll come in for your first appointment. We'll do all of your paperwork, counseling, ultrasound, and lab work. So that first appointment takes about an hour and we do those appointments uh, five days a week, Monday through Friday. And then we get you set up for your procedure. We do our procedures normally uh, three times a week on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. You choose whichever days are most convenient to your schedule. It just has to be a minimum of 48 hours in between those two appointments. Okay, thank you so much. Um, I think I'm going to call back to do an yes, appointment. Ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Nope. Yeah, so that's how heartbeat bands are working. And in Arkansas, most recently? Um... They have total protection in Arkansas. Little Rock County Planning, can I help you? Um, yes, can you, I was talking to somebody that was telling me that um, I can't have an abortion after the baby has a heartbeat, is that true? How many weeks are you? I think I'm like, Is this a protester by chance? I think there I'm been, like 17 weeks. 17 weeks? Mm -hmm. We go to 21 weeks here. Okay, thank so. you so much. Mm -hmm. But we also have heartbeat laws in Arkansas, North Dakota. That has protection from a heartbeat bill is North Dakota. So we're going to call a clinic. Women's 
Um, yes, I heard that I can't get an abortion if the baby is far enough along to get a heartbeat. Is that true? So our clinic um, goes up to, we do abortions up to 15 or 16 weeks, just depending on the doctor that's in that, um, that is in that day. So I'm not a nurse or a medical professional, so I'm not sure. Um, okay. Like, I guess the answer to that question, but that's how far along No, we that does help me. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. Cool. So, yeah, protection in North Dakota. There you go. Heartbeat bill. Iowa. Okay, so let's check Iowa. far do you do abortions? How many weeks? Uh, 19 weeks, 6 days. Okay, thank you so much. Of course. 19 weeks, 6 days, so 20 weeks. Kentucky. Okay, let's check Kentucky. Think it's going to be true this time? There's protection? Let's check. Heartbeat bill. How many weeks do we think they go? Can I help you? Hi, yes. Up to how many weeks do you go? Um, legal limit in the state of Kentucky is 21 weeks and 6 days. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks. Bye. Mississippi. Okay, now next let's check the abortion protection from the heartbeat bill in Mississippi. See if they go beyond a heartbeat. Yes, ma'am. How far do you go? How many weeks? We stop at 16. Okay, thank you so much. 16, Mississippi. Ohio. Where the first heartbeat bill was passed. So let's check and see if they go beyond the heartbeat. Um, how may I direct your call? Um, yes, I was just wondering how many weeks you go up to. Uh, the cutoff at our clinic and also in Ohio is 21 weeks and 6 days on the abortion day. Oh, awesome. Almost 22 weeks. Okay, thank you. Okay. Georgia. Okay, now we're going to do Georgia. Yes, can you tell me how many um, weeks y'all go to? How far? Uh, 16.6. Awesome, and what time do y'all close? Um, the call center closes at 9, but the clinics are already closed for the day. Oh, okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Missouri. Okay, up next. Uh, Missouri, we're in Missouri now. I'm gonna check and see how far Missouri goes, if, how their heartbeat band's going. Oh, Lily, how can I help you? Yes, can you tell me how many, uh, how far, how many weeks you go? 23 weeks and six days. Oh, wow. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Louisiana. Thanks for calling Hope Medical Group for Women. If this is a medical emergency, please press zero now on your touchtone telephone or stay on the line for an operator. For information about pregnancy tests, please press one now. For abortion information, please press two now. For information on emergency, abortion services are provided on Tuesday mornings, Thursday afternoons, and Saturday mornings. It can be done at Hope through 16 weeks from the last menstrual period. 16 weeks. Fees for the abortion are based on your length of pregnancy and range from 
$550 to $795. Limited financial assistance is available if you qualify, which can be determined at your first state required visit. Louisiana state law requires that you have an informed consent doctor session in person. That was Louisiana. Tennessee. Okay, now we're going to check Tennessee. You've reached Choices, Memphis Center for Reproductive Health, located in Midtown Memphis. For English, press 1. Para Español, marque 2. Thank you for calling Choices, now located at 1203 Poplar Avenue in Midtown Memphis. If this is a medical emergency, please hang up and call 911. You may dial your party's extension at any time. For appointments, press 1. To speak to the nurse or for prescriptions and lab results, press 2. For a dial-by-name directory, press 3. For all other calls, please remain on the line. We have not received a valid response. Please wait while we connect your call. Choices, this is Madison. How can I help you? Hi, Madison. Can you tell me how many weeks you go up to? For abortions? Yes. Yes, we do the medication up to 11 weeks and the procedure up to 16 weeks and two days. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And South Carolina. Okay, this is going to be South Carolina. Um, yes, can you tell me how many weeks you go to? For a termination? Yes. We do up to 14 weeks and zero days. 14 weeks and zero days? 14 weeks and zero days. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. When Texas passes this bill, it will be number 12. Okay, so here's the thing. We are continually told that we can't pass bills of abolition for a multitude of reasons, but one of the reasons we're given is that um, they will never go through. People don't want it. So with the heartbeat bills, they haven't gone through. Babies continue to be killed at the exact same pace and for the exact same amount of time um, in terms of gestation that they were killed before. Not one single of these heartbeat bills has gone into effect. Not one single heartbeat bill has saved one single baby's life at all. Yet we continue to try to pass heartbeat bills. So now we're doing it in Texas. And while Texas may be the 12th state to get a heartbeat bill passed, it is also not going to go into effect. It's going to meet lawsuits and um, injunctions, just like we were told by abortion clinics on the phone and babies are going to continue to be killed at the exact same rate but we're going to get told that the people that pass these bills are heroes they're going to get awards it's going to be a pro-life victory and it's a win for the pro-life movement but the babies aren't winning just understand that the babies aren't winning so we might pass a heartbeat bill but it's going to save absolutely zero lives in the state of texas we're still going to kill fifty-five thousand babies per year that we know about, and it's going to be done completely legally um, under our pro-life regulations that are passed by our pro-life um, political action committees like Texas Right to Life. And it's not gonna do anything at all. It's not gonna stop it. And they're gonna lie to you to get your votes and to get reelected and to be called pro-life heroes and have they're gonna have a completely 100% pro-life uh, voting record so that you'll continue to vote for them. So thanks, that's it.